hi guys welcome back to my channel quarter with my shin so for today's video we're gonna be talking about what no one tells you about being a micro influencer i actually have my note right here on my phone so before we get started you guys already know the drill don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below it is free the notification bell also you can get notified every single time i upload a new video do not forget to follow me on my social media platforms instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok the link will be in the description box down below for your convenience and yeah you guys let's get started so first of all what is a micro influencer so a micro influencer is someone that has between 1000 to 10,000 subscribers followers and I'm considered here on YouTube as a micro influencer because I have under 10,000 subscribers. So, the first thing I want to talk about is brands will lowball you and do not let that happen. So, I have been doing YouTube for a couple of years now, Instagram same thing, but I have been on YouTube more than I have been on any other social media platforms, okay? And I realized that a lot of brands will try to lowball you. For example, I had a skincare company contacting me last week. They wanted me to promote their skincare products on my Instagram page. Mind you, on Instagram, I have 10,000 followers, okay? I'm also a micro-influencer on Instagram. So they wanted to pay me $50 to post their product on my Instagram page. What? Like, I have 10,000 followers and you are paying me $50? Are you serious? That's a great example of brands trying to lowball you. And you know, I tried to negotiate a price with them. They did not want to do it, so I just let go. You guys need to understand that not because you're a micro-influencer means that your audience do not count. For example, let's say I was saying yes to that brand, right? And the product costs $50. And I'm selling to five people, okay? That's already them making $250, okay? And they only pay me $50? Like, really? So I'm over here making money. And mind you, they wanted me to post it on my Instagram page. Not on my story. On my page. Which means it was supposed to be a static post. So it was supposed to just stay there. Okay? As micro the brands really try to lower us. And we shouldn't let that happen. Okay? I know, you know, it's hard because you don't get contacted as much, you know, as you would like to be. Or you don't get a lot of, you know, collaborations. But do not let them lowball you. Okay? Let them pay you what you're worth because it is not easy to make content. Like people do not understand that creating content, it is not easy, okay? I need to go on live on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram. I'm planning on going live on my Instagram to talk about creating content because most people think it's super easy, but really it is not. So the second thing I want to talk about is brands will make you feel like you guys are collaborating and will have you pay for items at a discounted rate or give it to you for free and have you cover the shipping do not get fooled this is not a real collaboration okay they are technically using you a lot of us fall into oh this brand contacted me i should only be paying for shipping and they will send me free item and i just have to post it on my page or oh this brand contacted me and said i can pay for the item at a discounted rate and just advertise it on my page you guys that is not a collaboration, okay? They are using you because at the end of the day, you are covering the shipping, so the item is never fully free. Today alone, okay, I'm not exaggerating. I promise you guys, I declined five different Instagram pages that reached out to me. Out of the five companies that I declined today, three of them were jewelries, one of them was handbag, and the other one was sunglasses. All five of them were saying the same thing, and I kind of low-key, high-key feel like they work among each other, like, they literally were saying the same thing. They were like, we're going to send you juries and all you have to do is cover the shipping fee. And when you get the jury, just post it on your social media, on your Instagram story or on your Instagram page. Y'all, that is not a collaboration, okay? That is them using you. Let's say you have 1,000 followers, right? And this brand is making you, first of all, cover the shipping fee. And let's be honest. Most of the time, these companies are not in the United States. So the shipping fee isn't really cheap, okay? You're going to post it on your page and tag them. Let's say you have a 1,000 followers, okay? At least somebody in that 1,000 followers is going to probably like the jewelry or like the handbag or like the sunglass. And you're going to be like, oh, yeah, um, this is where I got it from. Let's say that person goes and buy the sunglasses. What are you gaining from it? Sometimes they're going to be like, oh yeah, you're also going to have a commission link. So when someone makes a purchase, you get a percentage. Y'all, the item should be sent to you for free. They should pay a fee for you to post the item on your page or in your story and tag them. 
And depending on how much they're going to be paying you, you can also negotiate to still get commission per item that gets sold with your code. Like, come on now. They really be out here using micro influencers. Like, they're really using us, y'all. So please be aware. And those that are saying, oh, yeah, this item normally costs $200. But let's work together and I'll give it to you for $50 and the shipping will be free. And all you have to do is post it on your page or include it in a YouTube video or post it on your story and tag us. Yo, I know sometimes it gets tempting, like, yeah, I want to do it, like, I want to work with the brand. But let's not let them use us, okay? Because that's how they end up lowballing all of us. Because some of us do not accept that type of collaboration. And for those that do, they think that everybody should, and they start lowballing everybody in the social media influencing world. So please, do not get lowballed. Do not let them use you. The third thing I want to talk about is you can easily get addicted to checking how many followers, likes, subscribers, or views you get on your page, okay? Y'all, it's not I'm getting better. I was so, so addicted to checking my YouTube studio to see if I gain any more subscribers, how many views my videos are getting. And also, whenever I posted a picture on Instagram or real, I will go check and see, oh, how many likes did it get? How many views did it get? But that is not good for your mental health, guys, because you can end up going crazy because sometimes you post something that does not perform as well as you think it would have or you know you post a video that you think and you know that it should be doing good because that's probably what your subscribers are asking for and it doesn't do good that can be really 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 mentally draining so please let's stop the addiction when it comes to checking how many views followers subscribers and all that i know it is hard okay because i'm literally now getting used to not checking those things so please 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 work on not getting addicted in checking your subscribers your followers your views all your likes okay so the next thing i want to talk about that no one tells you when it comes to being a micro influencer is that your growth may not feel significant because you will be gaining subscribers and losing them as well and that can be very discouraging your growth may not feel significant because you'll be gaining some and losing some as well and sometimes you lose more than you gain so you feel like you're not growing one whole time yes you are it's just that some people are unsubscribing so maybe you posted a video and they were like oh yeah i like what she said in this video i really like this girl let me subscribe and then a week later you post a video that they do not like what you said in that video or they do not like what you did in that video and they unsubscribe that does not mean that you're not growing okay you are it's just that some people are unsubscribing or unfollowing you so please 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 do not get discouraged if you're losing subscribers or followers because more are actually coming in okay and the one coming in are gonna be more genuine they're gonna love you for who you are not just for one video that you posted they're gonna love you for every single thing you post on your page or on your YouTube channel okay so the next thing I want to talk about that no one tells you about being a micro influencer is seeing your content not performing as usual or as you would like it to be can be very discouraging okay I touched base a bit about it earlier when I stated that you know you might be posting a video that you feel like it should do good because your subscribers wanted to see that or your followers wanted to see that but it did not do good this kind of ties into that as well because sometimes you post a video right for example sometimes i post a story time or a vlog and it gets like over a thousand views and in my head i'm like yes like that video did good and next you know i do a part two of that vlog or a part two of that story time and it doesn't perform well and it's like what in the world like what really changed you know it's technically the same thing i'm talking about it's just i'm expanding more so make sure those type of things do not discourage you just keep pushing out content because you know if you really do social media for love you should be able to keep going but if you came in here thinking you're gonna get rich or you're gonna make so much money you will end up giving up because it gets really discouraging okay like when you see that you are putting so much work in something and you do not get the outcome you're looking for you can literally just give up. I have two bonus tips that I will give you guys about being a micro influencer that no one tells you about. And the first thing I want to talk about is make sure you're not doing this whole social media thing for the money, okay? Because the money is not always consistent, first of all. And you don't always make money right away. And sometimes it takes you years and years and years to even get to the point of making good money on social media, okay? For example, myself, I don't really make a living on social media yet. 
but I'm still pushing. I've been doing this for years. That's because I love what I'm doing. Like I'm passionate with creating content. Like this is what I love and care about, okay? So make sure you join the whole content creating world for the right reason, okay? So the last but not least advice that I wanna give to my micro influencers is that, let's say your video is only getting 20 views or your post is only getting 20 likes. You may feel like it's not much, but let me make you think about it in a bigger picture, okay? Let's say those 20 people watching my videos were to come in this room, like walk into this room right now to hear me talk. How would that make me feel, okay? I think you guys should see it that way as well. Like, I know I'll be overwhelmed. I'll be like, oh my goodness, that's a lot of people that are here to hear me, to hear what I gotta say. Like, I'll feel overwhelmed and I'll be like, wow. That's a lot of people, but because we are in this whole social media era, people are getting million views and you're only getting 20 views, you feel like it's not much, but 20 people willing to hear you out or listening to what you got to say, it's a lot of people, okay? Even though virtually it may not feel like it's a lot because like I said, you are seeing people getting more than that, thousands and millions of views. What if 20 people were to walk into your room? You that's watching me right now. What if 20 people were to walk into your room? to hear what you got to say in your YouTube videos. How would you feel? Wouldn't you be like, wow, 20 people to hear me? Wouldn't you feel that way? Because I know I would. So try to think about it that way, okay? It will really make you change your mindset when it comes to you feeling like, oh, the 20 views I got is not much, or the 30 views or the 40 views I got in my videos is nothing, okay? Once you start seeing those views or likes in that perspective, you will appreciate your viewers more. You appreciate your channel more because you'll be like, wow, 20 people just to listen to little old me? Wow. Like, you'll be more grateful. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you guys, that's it for today's video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. It is free. It is free, free, free. And make sure you turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The link will be in the description box down below for your convenience. And I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.